This plant has tried to kill my goats one too many times. It's got to go. Stella's coming with us. Oh my goodness, it's hot. I can't even talk because it's hot. That is too hot. Let's go. Pee 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 break. Okay, go, 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 go. Go this way. Oh, here you go. There you go. You first, a little one, good one. To the right. Down that way to go potty. Still all closed. You can't eat inside. We tell them all the time they should try to go potty before we leave the house. It doesn't happen. Don't worry, we're gonna get to the whole plant. Almost killed my goats, all that stuff. We're gonna get there soon. This time down here, if you want to skip the family stuff, head there. We'll talk about poisonous plants and goats. We gotta go buy new clean ones. Clean ones, I mean pretty ones. New pretty ones that won't kill goats. That's what we're gonna do, but it's pee pee time. Quinn, let's go. I am. You good? Let's go. Quinn, thank you. Spoon. Spoon. Mommies. And then we're just waiting on our chicken nuggets. We good? You ready? Okay, let's go. This way. Hey, we got our nuggets, our ice cream. Ow, my back. Go ahead that way, please. Door, push, push, like it says, push. Thank you. Just like it says. Good job. All right, let's go find mommy. Who's got mommy's ice cream? You, good. Oh, phew. I thought we forgot it. All right, slow, watch for cars. All right, go. Let's bring that right to mommy. Bring it to mommy over here. This way, coming through. Coming through. Hello, special delivery. Oh, special delivery. Thank you. And this too, that's mine though. Don't drink it, please. Thanks. You, I mean, I'll share. Here's some chicken nuggets, not for you, Stella. You're allergic. Okay, can you unlock? There you go. Get in, let's go get flowers and talk about poisonous plants, what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, not ice cream and McDonald's. This is, you're sidetracking the video. Mom, you might need this. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Are we waiting till the rain's over? Yes. Can I guess? Stella, are we gonna wait? Yes. Oh my gosh, Quinn, you're funny. That's hot sauce. It's swanky sauce. Oh. <laughs> On a chicken nugget. While we wait for the rain. Oh no. What? Oh no. Whoopsie. I spilled. No. Stella, I don't know about you, but I'm ready. You ready to go in? Even in the rain? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was Libby. Was it Libby? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Olivia, what'd you buy? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. That looks like watermelons and pumpkins to me. And maybe a cantaloupe or two. Right, Quinn? Pumpkins. What'd you buy? Flowers. More flowers. And? Blueberries. She did. We're going to have so much fruit, it's going to be amazing. Oh my gosh. We're back. That took like all day. Yeah, COVID haircuts though. Um, we bought a lot more than just what we went for. Pretty flowers, blueberries. Watermelons, pumpkins, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna get to the conversation about poisonous plants now. Action. Well, we made quick work of that. So we took everything out, we got some plants, we're gonna plant them, put them in the ground now, and then we're gonna go over what plants your goats should stay away from and maybe what you should remove from your own yard so your goats don't get sick. And if you're not too garden savvy or have that green thumb and know how to identify plants that might be poisonous to goats, we're also gonna include a link in the comments below on some really respectable websites that you can search through to help you identify what's poisonous and what to do if your goat has ingested that. Mm -hmm. No, mom, that was good. Okay. That was great. Now we're gonna plant some pretty stuff and then we'll get back to well, it. Well, it used to be pretty, now it's past season, but we gotta get it in the ground anyway. Yeah, it's time to get it in the ground.
Looking good. About one bag short, right? Yeah, like this, this plant needs it a little heavier here, and this line has to be finished. But otherwise, it's good. We're going to be much happier here than in the pot. Yes, definitely. So now that it's all clean and we've got new plants here, we're going to talk right, a little chance, bit you talk, about... You talk okay. with your hands over my face. Okay, so we will switch. Try again. <laughs> Did I switch to this hand? Yes. Whoa, those eyes. Yeah, I'm yeah. hungry. And now you're just talking with your hand over my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that we planted all pretty plants, we're going to talk real quickly about how you identify good plants versus bad plants. We've identified bad plants over the years, some trial by error, just a lot of research. You know, the big no-nos for something that's going to be like in your yard is, are going to be the common rhododendras, holly bushes. These are, these are plants that are just known to be used widespread, at least in New England, that goats are very, very toxic to, to goats. We've replaced them with some hydrangeas, and some, I'm gonna probably pronounce it wrong, but it's, I think it's called verbanum or verburnum or something like that. Yeah. And then a Rose of Sharon actually was gifted to us after the loss of Jojo just about a few weeks ago. Okay, so we use this app called Picture This. It is a plant identification app. It at least tells you what that plant is or tree or weed or what, whatever you're in question. I'm just going to open my app here. It has like an activate your free trial, whatever. Go to the camera. And now I have free IDs. Every day you're going to get a free ID. You go here to get more. You can push the play. I've already done it today, so I'm, I, I can't be lucky anymore. But then you go back to the camera. And so say I had a picture like, ooh, I found this out on a hike or it's around my yard and I'm wondering if, is, if it's poisonous to goats. I'm going to grab a leaf here. If it were in bloom, I could do this to the flower, but I'm going to take a picture of the leaf and then it's going to say, hey, this is a Rose of Sharon. It's species of Rose Mallows, also known as, and then I can look at other people's images of theirs. And then I can go over to Cornell's website. Okay, so now I'm on the Cornell's website and I clicked under the search by common name. And these are, and it's an alphabetical list of common name plants that are known to be poisonous to some animals. So for example, commonly affected species. So we can go to goats, tells you a whole other, you know, unlike the pub, public's vision of a goat, the cast iron stomached beast that can eat anything from a tin can, false fake news. So alkaloid containing plants, these are, you know, not good for goats. These are common weeds like um, nightshade is a big one that can come in on your hay that you don't want. Boxwood, which we actually have over in our driveway, but the goats have never bothered it. Um, those are some that I'm familiar with. So this is like ki ki kinogenics. All I know is that that contains poison. These are going to be all of your like lily of the valley, milkweed, rhododendrons on this list. You got the wild black cherry, which is another reason I'd like to take down that tree. Marijuana, you know, bad things. Ivy. So those are the ones that are, are going to be, you know. Anyway, you can look through here, other known toxic plants ground ivy, weed. These are ones that I know. Clover, I call BS on that. I think in the sense of that it's really rich. So yeah, so you can go over to the Cornell's website, search by species and get this really long list of known toxic plants to specifically goats. And if you have horses or pigs or cattle, you can find even, uh, let's see if they have dogs and cats. Yeah, dogs, cats, rabbits, poultry, horses, swine. So any really major class of of livestock and pets you can go onto cornell's website search up the plant in particular and see if it's toxic to your livestock or pet so before we go with us talking about poisonous plants it's inevitable that a gate won't get latched properly and your goats might get out things that you want to have on hand in the event that your goat does get into something that is toxic as quickly as humanly possible you want to have toxaban on on hand which is activated charcoal 
This is administered through your vet. You can pick it up at a tractor supply or Amazon, but you want to contact your vet and make sure that you know they tell you how much to administer for your sized animal. And you don't want to have to travel to get this or look all over your state to find it when you need it the most. So time is of the essence when your animal gets into something toxic. You want to administer it as soon as humanly possible. Watch Stella. Hi, Stella. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give us a thumbs up and comment below. And make sure that you're subscribed and follow us on Simon Says Farms. Gotta clean up the garbage.